Today I'm going to try and fix my uh, fuel filter housing and I definitely think this sensor here is where the leak is coming from. You can see it's it's all this cut this foam here is all discolored and you can you might be able to see I can where it's kind of darker on the second half so the top is kind of cleaner looking and then down here you can kind of see the fuel kind of residue or maybe it's been dripping down like this it's also really um, gummy and everything along the side or maybe the fuels coming out that hole there so um, yeah I'm gonna take this out plan at least is to take this out and put some JB wells in that hole and uh, hopefully that'll fix the problem I wanted to show you the difference between um, the drain plugs and the air plugs on mine um, the uh, gasket is attached can you see that and you can it's free spinning see that it's like a free spinning piece attached to the um, kind of screw part and if you look inside the hole which I don't know if we'll be able to do but we'll see you can see that there's no gasket down in there however on the um, fuel filter housing block that I pulled off the 83 Suburban, diesel Suburban, its um, screws are like this. See, they don't have, they just have this, they come to a point here, and then there's a gasket down inside there that looks like that. That this basically Hold on a second for my camera. This basically screws down into that gasket, nice and tight, and that's what creates the seal. Whereas on mine, that gasket doesn't exist and just screws down into the flat part. So, I thought you'd find that interesting, because I sure did. What's the difference there? Those two and this one. So I don't know if one's better than the other, uh, probably not. I'm just going to stick with the ones that I had and this one, um, but that was interesting. Just wanted to show you, I'm trying to just get this thing out and I, I pry on this just a little bit and it completely breaks off. You can see how wet it is down there, so definitely think this is where my leak is coming from. So, I'm going to keep trying to pry this thing out. I might need to, oh. Maybe I've got it here. Nope. There we go. Get this ring out. See this just keeps cracking and breaking apart probably because it's been leaking diesel fuel all over the plastic and it's not meant to be wet like that. Look at this. Junk. Junk, junk, junk. Alright, this thing is free. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's actually a little pool of fuel in there. That should not be there. Look at that. Here's the uh, gasket. You 
you know, a lot of people say you just replace this gasket. Guy on the forum was saying that, and I'd like to do that, but guess what? I just broke the crap out of this sensor. So that's not going back in. And since this hole is closed up on the later models, I think it's pretty safe to just go ahead and close it up. So I'll try and show that. Went to go close my truck because it's starting to rain. And this just peeled off right here. That's where all that fuel has been on there. All right, there you go. We will see what that does. Hopefully that fixes my problem. My biggest fear is that the JB will just drip down into that hole and it's sealing up something in there that it shouldn't be. <sighs> but I don't know what to do about it, so. Got it sitting here. The fan there, blowing on it. And look at all old parts I've taken off. I don't know what to do with them. And uh, hopefully that